there's one. There we go. Right on the pause like it's supposed to happen. Hey, I'm Tony Roach, professional guide. I spend countless hours on the water and ultimately that means cleaning fish. I've found electric fillet knives to be one of the most useful tools that I have in the toolbox when it comes to cleaning fish. It's just, they're much more efficient, they're faster. And I'll show you how I go about cleaning fish with an electric knife. All right, this is how I position the walleyes to get my first cut. I like the fish to be at sort of an angle because when I'm cutting down behind the head, I'm actually lifting up the pectoral fin and then I'm cutting at an angle back towards the head. There's a lot of meat in here that people miss if they just do a straight cut right here. So after the first cut, I'm actually gonna turn my blade and I'm gonna run it right down the backbone of this fish. Keeping it as tight as I can to the backbone is important for not missing meat. But as you see, I'm not gonna cut all the way through the rib cage. I actually cut the rib cage out as I'm filleting. So I'm gonna come down, I'm actually gonna only insert my knife about an inch, inch and a half, and then when I get behind the rib cage, I'm gonna slide it down and go all the way to the tail. Okay, and then just come in here and give a couple quick slices along the rib cage. I'm actually gonna cut around the rib cage. I don't cut through the rib cage when I fillet fish. It just takes out another step of the process and it speeds it up a bit. And you can actually just rub the knife along the rib cage ever so slightly in order to pull the fillet up enough where you can slice down the ribs without actually cutting through any bone. And then I flop the fish over and then just tear the meat off like that. And then when I flip the fish over, I do the exact same thing. I kind of angle the walleye and then again, you're gonna make that angle cut back towards the head so you're not skipping any meat. Then I'll flip the fish over and do the exact same process where I turn the knife, I'm running it down the backbone, not inserting the blade more than an inch, inch and a half. As soon as I get past the rib cage, I'm gonna go all the way to the tail. And then again, I just kind of run my knife down the top of the rib cage without cutting through any bones and then I can round that rib cage with ease. Flip the fillet over, and then I can just cut right down like that. Now the last step of the process before I actually take the skin off is I'm going to take out these pin bones. Walleyes have a little bit of a pin bone right here, so you can just make a really small incision, like so, pull that back, and then now, when I go to actually skin the fish, I'm gonna angle my blade down right at the end of the tail, okay? But then I'm gonna hold the skin with my fingers, angling the blade down, again, so you're not missing meat that's right along the skin. I know a lot of people leave a lot of meat left on a skin, whereas if I, if I angle that blade, I can make a clean cut. And again, now I've got skin, with virtually no meat left on it. And then if you look at this fish here, absolutely took all the meat off it without wasting anything. That's really important if you're gonna harvest a fish. We've got the pin bones. I'm just gonna do a small incision right here, just right in the center of the fillet, eliminating the pin bones from the fillet. So you got a completely boneless fillet. And then again, filleting down the fish angling my knife, making sure that I don't miss any meat that's right along the skin. And there you go, there you have it. There's a completely skinless, boneless walleye filet ready for the frying pan. Take it from me, someone who cleans a lot of fish throughout the year. When you have the right electric filet knife, cleaning fish is simple, easy, and a painless process.